Anytime, YouTube. Getting trolled. Hey, everybody. Richard Hart here. How's it going? I hope everybody's doing wonderfully. I'm here with the director of the Highest of Stakes documentary, which is apparently about Hex and me. So, it here is. he is. We're Look. making a movie on you. I'm one of the directors. Do you remember my name? Oh, God. His name starts with a P. Ian P. Patrick. Pa Patty Cakes. We decided on this, Patrick right? it is, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm not going to look at you guys. I'm going to look at him because he's here and you're not. And uh, I hope our audio is good. If you can't hear it, complain in chat and give us more engagement for the bot. And I will try and not get distracted by those beautiful eyes being this Thank close. You, you know, Thank that you. might be a challenge. So we're excited to be able to interview you live. It's been a long journey that we've been go going on. And we're going to share with all of you a little bit of how all this came to be, how we got here today, where we're at in the movie, and ask uh, Mr. Hart some questions about his experience. I'm glad you know where we're at because I don't know nothing. You guys call me. You're like, go here. And then you make me wear clothes, which uh -huh. I don't usually I don't know that do we make home. you wear clothes. We do show up to your house, and sometimes <laughs> you're in underwear. That is true. But so we are say, hey, look, if you want to chill in your underwear, you're the one that would like to put on clothes, to so be like, fair. So where's the movie at? Like, well, we, we, Is he called a movie? That's, is it fair to call it a movie? Or is it a documentary? I mean, we crappier? prefer shitty video I call it movie, instead of yeah. movie. But I, if you would call it a movie, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be a movie star, so, you know. You can't be a movie star. You've always a been a movie star in our hearts. Okay, let's take it back before we get to where we're at. I want to get to where it started because it's kind of bizarre, right? right? I don't know. I don't even know if you've heard this, I have, but I, I got so Quattro Synchro, yeah. right? Long time hexican started texting me a message, and it's this dude in a top hat who's doing YouTube videos on a velvet curtain, and and he's given you know life advice and everything else. He's like, you've got to make a movie on this guy, right. and we get pitched a lot of different stories, right? Right, and so you 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 imagine? Yeah, look at the thumbnail. I'm like, I don't know. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna pass, dude. Right. Right, yeah. And he just keeps going. He's like, yeah. look, you've got to check this out. You've got to check this out. So we're like, you can arrange but, a call. But haven't you done like documentaries on like, monkeys? Aren't I more interesting than, a, than an ape? On some days. You're good days. <laughs> <laughs> so we said we'd take the call with you. And he was like, well, look, I'll see if I can arrange it. Let's all talk, right? So he sends you a Telegram message. You probably have no idea because you have 75,000 you haven't read. But yeah. this Telegram message was like, hey, hypothetically... Yeah. I got a team. They'd be interested in making a film. Would you take the call? They've done all this other shit. You know, this could be really significant. And in true Richard Hart fashion, it's a massive message. And you go, sure, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So we took that. We took that call. I was on vacation in Costa Rica. Do you remember anything about that first call? Or why the heck did you even get on that call with these? Because I'm sure think, you didn't research us or anything else. You just got on the call. No, I think you guys, like, sent me a link to some of your stuff, which I never watched. Yes. And then... <laughs> And then I was on the call, and I'm like, "All right, I'll watch it now." And I think it was, I think it was an African documentary, but was I wrong? Was okay, it hold else? on, hold on, everybody. This is amazing. So we are on the call yeah. with Richard talking about the idea of making yeah. a documentary on his life, yeah. and he's like, "I haven't watched anything you sent me, but send it to me now." So we send yeah. it to you, and you start watching it on the call, yeah. and then he starts live narrating his feedback on our work on the call, yeah. like, "Ooh, like the soundtrack, like the pacing. You guys are good." I think we are about twenty <laughs> seconds in, and you're like, "Yeah, no, this is good enough. I, I'm, I, I like it. Yeah. It's good." It's like if you want to know if somebody's pretty or not, you know. Quickly, you don't have to think about Are it. Are you calling me pretty? No, definitely oh, not. You're skinnier now. You look, your eyes look good now. They have the white, the whites to the the sclera is more white. That's nice, and you're skinnier. I'm jealous. I put on weight. You lost weight. Jealous. Well, no. you agreed to then meet with us after that. Yeah. Yeah. And we said, can we come to your house? Now, yeah. eventually we made it to the castle, but yeah. you were like, no way in hell. Yeah. Let's meet somewhere, and you chose Tallinn, Estonia. Yeah. yeah. Right. So then we get together. And Richard rents out this big penthouse suite, which, uh, how, how happy were you about the $2,500 a night it. price tag? It was terrible. <laughs> they just started COVID testing, and they're like, yeah, if you want to go to dinner, you have to shove this up your nose every 48 hours. Uh -huh. Like, uh -huh. I don't want to do that. It hurts. I don't like it. And the room sucked. Like, it was just, it was, yeah. it's, it was expensive. And but we did get just, a scene out of it. We got that true. stream. We got yeah. something out of it. No, Do you true. remember anything about that first meeting, that first trip? And he goes, other than, I, probably, I mean, you did go buy a Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> you guys started my Ferrari and exotic car buying spree. We got, I, I kind of feel guilty about that. I've started yeah, your affliction for, for cars. It's going to cost you more than Rolexes. It's an affliction. My God. Affection. So, uh, <laughs> so like. I mean, you bought like three in the last week. That's an affliction. Yeah. Well, it's because the camera's rolling, right? So if I'm going to buy them anyway for fun, I might as well buy them beforehand and have them for the film, right? It's, well, you better hurry up. We're, so, we're wrapping principal production. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. have. We're now, you got to start speed buying. I'll speed drive everything. Yeah. So, 
I mean, one of them is called a speed. So the Bentley yeah. I got is called the the W12 Speed. It's got a 12 cylinder engine. With, uh-huh. It's the fastest Bentley. It goes 209 miles an hour. Um, it's pretty sick. But it's not where we started. We're still in Tallinn. Sure. And yeah, what yeah. do you remember of that? Anytime? I remember everything. It was rainy and dark, so we had really flat light, so we couldn't get any good shots anywhere, mm-hmm. which left us with indoor options. You know, it's really fun. He critiques our lighting all the yes. time. So we'll mm-hmm. set stuff up. He's like, do you sure you don't want the key over mm-hmm. here? Do you mm-hmm. want to do this? And so we actually have a running bet now <laughs> about questions because he'll He's be like, winning. you should try You should try this white balance. And I'll be like, Richard, sir, the, the Kelvin of daylight white balance is yeah. not 6,500. He'll be like, I bet you it is. It, so it, it's, it, it, it's fun. For the viewers, <laughs> 6,500 is overcast white balance, which is a little more blue. But, but we, direct sunlight without the clouds overcast uh-huh. is 5,600 Kelvin which is a little bit more yellow. Which so I it, won that bet. You did. I did win yes. that bet. We but, got it officially yeah. on camera yep. that Richard Artwin did not win once, and that I did. But, but for the record, <laughs> for the record, all cameras and all printers and all monitors calibrate to 6,500. So to hear this weird first two digits transposed 5,600 for oh, the first time. Oh, you're going to be able to rationalize the like, inaccuracy okay, better right. than anybody in the world, fine. I'm sure. However, fine. I still scored the point. True. Um, and I will say it is it is fun for us setting up the lights and then having you critique and tell us it's wrong. It's like it does make me want to tell you how to do crypto sometimes just to like haze you. I won the CRI <laughs> incandescent black bulb radiation one. You totally run, w- yeah. won the CRI. Yeah. I did not think that, that Tungsten had CRI or at least a high CRI. And he's like, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> yep. Yep. You did win that one. Yeah. But inside yeah. of Talon, one, yeah. you decided to buy a Ferrari on the spot, yeah. like which to us was like, okay, this, this dude's, this crypto. dude's serious, yeah. right? Because like you're, you, you didn't know, know if you're, you don't like when you see crypto for the first time, you're like, ah, is it really money? You're like, mm-hmm. well, it buys Lambos, so yeah, uh-huh. it's really money. Uh-huh. I bought millions of dollars of watches and millions of dollars of cars with crypto. But you had so. waited so long. Why they're in Talon that day? Like, we're talking right. literally, and I almost think yeah. it's because I made the mistake of suggesting you drive Brent's McLaren. Like, in that moment, you're like, shit, I ain't driving his car. I'll get my own Ferrari. Brent, get me a Ferrari tomorrow. Like, I know this sounds crazy yeah. to all of you, but yeah. literally, we are sitting in a suite, and he's like, Brent, can you get me a Ferrari tomorrow? Brent yeah. gets on the phone, calls the yeah. dealership, yeah. and like tomorrow we're showing up and he's buying a, a yeah. Ferrari. Like, and I got a good deal on it. I got the floor model. So I saved 16,000 euros there. Mm-hmm. And euros were more expensive back then. Um, Which is this very fascinating duality you have. That you'll, uh, you'll, you'll do, I don't know what, a couple million in watches cheap, this, this, this week. It, it's, there's, yeah. there's cheap, but it's not necessarily just cheap because it's also like you love these clothes, but I also know that your, your, one of your favorite t-shirts is three for $10. Yeah. Yeah. It's right? the best like, quality. Like, yeah. So this is not the best quality? No. This so this really sharp ring will tear this up. If I if I catch this yeah. or this, it will rip it and then you're like, I guess I have to buy a new one. So it, it's like some stuff that looks good, it's not durable really. Uh-huh. And silk it wrinkles really easy. So like these pants are wrinkled to death. So like kind of like a nylon that doesn't wrinkle yeah. as much is better and it's, and it's cheaper. So but a lot of times cheaper is better. The Ferrari was good quality. I've actually was- had a wonderful time with that car. I, I checked the mm-hmm. oil after like 15,000 kilometers using it, which for yeah. guys in America, it's 10,000 miles. It didn't consume any oil. I'm used to having a Ford that spits yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of oil out the tailpipe, and you got to keep putting oil and in it because no it's blown f- past the rings. in it and has candy in the back, and you try and pick All my you know, Fords kids up floors. and that kind of thing. The, the Pontiac yeah. didn't have a floor. But like, so yeah, the car, you know, other than some of the electronics, like the front collision detection thing would yeah. just not work sometimes you have to restart but the car why why the ferrari why did you decide in that moment we've just met that you're going to go and buy your first big car content. everything else we couldn't get any other good content but we didn't, even, we didn't even put a ring on it yet we were still meeting each other oh uh, well then you it was just... bad it was a bad idea then i thought we were good to go uh yeah well, i'm not i'm not saying that we, i wanted to make a good that, that we weren't but yeah. like so what what was it in that first meeting though that was like i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna work with these guys again i'm gonna see them i'm gonna invite them into my life you've made an exceptional amount of yeah. time yeah. for us yeah. right which we certainly appreciate yeah. the access the time everything yeah. else you've done um i think we both agree it's required to do a level the movie at a level that's gonna you know we want to hit netflix we want to hit all these things well, but why after that first meeting were you like i i, I trust these dudes and well i know this. you guys believe like you, you've heard what we're about and you believe in it. So you, you don't, this, I don't think that this project for you is just about making money. Maybe that's well, nice. It's not about making money. Right. So it, I think you want to make something that will have an impact 
that will bring maybe people's awareness of your production values and abilities higher to help people that you know that are good people and to make the world a better place because there really are very few things out there that you could promote that are legitimately going to make the world a better place. Okay. There's not many. But here's the thing that I don't think a lot of people in the community understand that I know you clearly get because you deal with this controversy daily. Yeah. If we go make a puff piece, yeah. we go interview a whole bunch of people about how yeah. they love Hex and how it changed their life, yeah. and Hex is amazing, and Hex and Hex... It makes a bad story. Nobody's going to touch it. Stories are based on conflict. Exactly. And Period. it's part of... Yeah. Well, yeah. And it's part of how you live rent-free in so many people's yeah. heads. Yep. Yeah. Right? I mean, right now, you got a little bit of uh, conflict brewing around your Red Bull. Yes. Right? So there's, there's, there's some things that you... We had a debate huh? at dinner around why you huh? choose to talk about yes. Red Bull and things like that. Yeah. Um, and, and your point was that you live rent free. Well, it's, that it's an underserved market. So like there are a lot of guys with bigger D's than me, <laughs> but they're not advertising that, which yes. leaves this niche. It's outrageous and it's free to do. Mm-hmm. And I'm willing to go to a doctor to prove it. And then like, he says he's willing to go to a doctor. However, we called him on it, offered a camera and then he lies. passed. Absolute so lies, dude. We, <laughs> this we, is we not don't true. Know. So like conflict. drama, it's free conflict. It's yeah. free. And then I can do anchoring. So now every time you hold a Red Bull can or something similar, you'll think of me. Every time you have an orgasm and you count how many pumps or squirts you get, and it's I 12 to 14, you think of me. Regularly see a it's therapist. Unfair. We do CBD. Yeah. Right? We have to have counter opinions. Yeah. We have to have people that may lose. I mean, yeah. really, you, you know, that sort of thing. Yep, yeah, for sure. Um, now, you've been, we, we, we do have a couple characters in the film yeah. who question you. Right, we have a somebody who is an expert in cryptocurrency who teaches on it. We have a hold on, hold on. He teaches you can, on it. You True, can, you can offer. I mean, he is employed professionally at and yes, so he does teach on it. Yeah, um, he used to work at the Fed, man. So he's not like well. And, and how the, how are the, how's the Fed been doing? And uh, <laughs> you know, and we also have a sort of a fraud analyst. Yes. Right? So, I like that more. That's yeah. like, it's so we have a fraud thing. analyst. Yeah. We have a crypto uh, expert. We'd yeah. say, you'd say, you're going to school him and teach him what he's yeah. doing. Yeah. But, but that's the most experts that work at schools. Yeah. They're not usually actually the best. Yeah. But for yeah. everybody watching, that's critical. What would I need people to get? Yeah. Because we get a lot of people saying, like, it's just going to, I think that they feel like we're just, it's going to be a, a two hour love fest of everybody just, you know, talking about yeah. how it may, whatever. Yeah. And it's like, no, we need to have other people that have other opinions now you always get your chance to come back and share your thoughts and share everything else like there's definitely it's a very open transparent process and you've been incredibly inviting i love you've brought i love talking to people that disagree with me i love it Uh it makes me look good so you know anyone that's willing to have a smart conversation with me i love it the only weakness i have is when people are truly ignorant and unwilling to listen to anything i'm saying yeah it's horrible because it's just a framing contest so we can't agree on you, we can't agree on Peter data. So much? I mean, Peter, we Peter and I found common ground on a lot of stuff. We both yeah. thought Bitcoin was going down; it's gone down. We both thought inflation was going to go up; inflation went up. You know, um, we he thinks he thinks gold is a bad investment, which I got him to say. No one in the world would ever assume that Peter Schiff mm-hmm. would ever say that gold was a bad investment. I got him to say it and stand behind it and believe it. You not a problem, not a slip up. And we both agree on that. Yes. And so, you know, and then the only place that, that kind of fell apart was I got I got him to, like, I'm like, bro, you just, like, you said crypto sucked, crypto didn't suck, was the best performing asset in the world. Are you going to say yeah. sorry? And he's, he didn't get it. He didn't understand that missed opportunity that he caused people. Like, yeah. he caused people, instead of buying the best thing, they bought things that sucked. Like, he has a fund, actually. Uh-huh. It's a horrible performing fund. Anyone that calls up CPAC and Europac Capital is going to get put into something that's terrible. And, you know, yeah. you look up their reviews on the web, on the internet, and they review horribly. You look up my reviews on the internet, it's God mode. Everyone's very happy. Yes. Mm. Yes. And I think there's part of having a debate with people who truly want to have a debate, and there's no. people who just want to shield their opinion. And something that... And we, he has an audience, and I have an audience, and so it's fair. So neither one of us is leeching the other one. We're both cross-pollinating audiences. Yeah. When I talk to a loser who just has only loses money, only gets people wrecked, has never been right about anything, and has no audience, I, I just lose whether I win or not. Because yep. people will, you know, any click he gets, he's super happy to get. We, we, have, uh, we have an amateur on the mixer, everybody. I apologize. She hit the wrong button, and we went black for a second. 
Uh, that's You're Evan. Too. She anytime, didn't. Anytime you see red there, she didn't mean to. Sorry. To the mic. Well, yeah, no, we're just turn it down. We're her. taking heat because yeah. she hit the fade to black that's button, and then she's calling Tristan. <laughs> so, um, Evan, they understand. Please, everybody, let everybody know, Evan, it's okay. <laughs> it did not get unplugged. It was that she hit the fade to black and then did not know how to unfade to black. I believe this is your first time live mixing an event, right? That's true. So, yeah. okay, so. Why does Richard sit on eight pillows? Because his chair is naturally higher. I have to display dominance. We made an agreement. I'm yes, on eight pillows I here. Will, I will be in the smaller chair at lower height. That was that was what he needed in writing for us to do this. Now, we're in Talon. We get back, and yeah. we're like, okay, we, we want to do this with you. We yeah. want to make a movie. Yeah. We So... You're moving too quick for us to do quick Kickstarter. Your products, crypto, the world of crypto doesn't work oh. in days where we can take 69 days. So what we right. need to do is we built a landing page and we offered the opportunity for several people to actually invest actually forgot in you guys did all that. Yeah. People, people that are watching, if you don't know this, I don't fund any of this stuff. So Wait, like hold the, on. You didn't pay for this movie? No. Oh, I thought we were still getting a check. No, Nothing. <laughs> Richard, event, has, like Richard the, has zero, yeah, the two zero grand. money into the, the, this yeah. whatsoever. And in fact, I don't we, even buy dinner. We, even, buy we pay for dinner. I was yeah. going to go there. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we pay for dinner. So yeah. Richard has and no creative control either. No. You have approval rights on your likeness. I can't put right? anything in it. I can just yes. make it never happen. That's yes. it. Yeah. 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 So I think that's important for everybody to know. Yeah. But so we put up this page. We seek investment. We're thinking we might get 15 people or whatever. And one yeah. of the first people that reached out was Kinetics. Um, right. from Discourse. And he yeah. was like, I want in. I want to make this happen. Uh, and we flew down. And I, I have to, you know, I'm now here sitting in the castle with you. Yeah. So I, I have to say thank you to Kinetics because that dude believed when, I mean, there's not a lot to believe on at that yeah. point. We, we'd spent yeah. a couple days with you. He saw the vision. Yeah. And then he got Big K and RG3 involved. But what yeah. that meant was we had funding to go, like, we're in. We're officially in. We can yeah. turn down work. We can focus on this film. Yeah. And we came back to you and we're like, great. Where are we going next? What are we doing? I think I think all those people. So right now there's like drama in the community, and I'm not an expert on it because I don't really like care that much. It just goes away. Like Freddie quotes made a rap video, and then the price went down. Everyone's like, price went down. Rap video was recent. Recent equals cause. And you're like, no, no. Don't but we also made songs. We made songs when yeah. the price was going up crazy too. Was that why the price went up? No. Like the price does what it does, and then you can't just let recency bias have causation right so you know people are like oh richard's talking about his dong price went down you're like no but it went up like 20 percent, like two like it went up also like but it was been i've been bragging the whole time like it's been going up the whole time mm -hmm. so was it the bragging that caused it no it's other stuff so you know i don't it's want also complex like the, the market is very complex and to try and pull out one little variable and suggest right. i i would say that there are times in which hexagons might overestimate their influence on certain things sure. yes and therefore draw inaccurate i mean there's conclusions. people that don't use twitter there's people that don't they they are not in the same evan switch cameras they're not in the yeah. same like uh brain space that we're in so the reason i'm mentioning this is like i don't want you guys savaging other hexagons for no good reason you know so like i hear people like um like there's some guys trying to build stuff around hex yeah. and then they're trying to make money on it like, you know, Crypto Coffee, he sells, like, a, a program to uh, to on-ramp people to teach them how to do stuff, right, and charges money for it. That yeah. seems totally fair to me. You're going to teach people smart stuff, and they're going to pay you? Great. They're going to get smarter. You're going to get money. Everyone's going to be happy, right? And I and I think uh, Kinetics and the guys are trying to build a, a product to do, uh, you know, to allow larger entities into uh, get exposure to Hex and Pulse, Pulse Chain, perhaps, uh, by participating in a fund and then you know you could get people that can only invest in funds they can't invest in currencies like yeah. limited partners and 501 uh what's that thing you pay for like retirement 5013c no that's a charity uh yes that's right it's a 401 five, yeah yep yep so I'm, yeah, yeah i'm canadian right. so all these good. things are a little different for us true we get free health care and all these kinds of things so. i'm surprised your mouth doesn't open the whole head like a south park that's how i thought <laughs> oh oh south park that's your example of <laughs> not your buddy pal um, so like, I, I, I think that that's a good wholesome thing. Like if you're, if you're building informational products around hacks, you should be able to profit on them. When we had a referral program, if you're, you're promoting good with, hacks with hats and everything too, right? I mean, generally speaking, you can't officially endorse the usage of your logo to make profit, but there, there, there are people making, if you Google, our... if you Google fair use t-shirt or fair use hat, you're going to see that you can do whatever you want as long as you make some changes. 
But in the United States, there's a law that states in order to protect your brand, you have to uh, protect your brand from other people that may be abusing it. And yep. therefore, I have protected my brand against everyone I'm aware of that may be abusing it. But just Google fair use and you're good to go. And mm -hmm. I have seen a lot of very cool looking shirts, a lot of very cool looking hats. I like it when I see people wearing hex gear. Um, just Google fair use and then, then you'll be covered. Um, I, have, uh, I, uh, I have one of these bags. So Richard, since we've made this film, has gifted me one of his Louis... No, <laughs> no, not at all. Definitely However... Uh, I won't even buy dinner. I told the guys that we were coming here, yeah. and Big K said yeah. that he had something very special for you. All right. And so the idea that I could give this to you... Is it live, a firearm? Is it loaded? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not bringing that shit into your castle. So right here... All right. I'm going to open it first, and I'll tell you what it is. It's a Louis Vuitton. It is one of a kind. Is it a giant Easter egg? Yes, because you want me to open it? Yeah, you want to right. open it. This is a weird shape. Let me see if I can guess what this is. I've bought really? everything they sell. You can't guess what I don't what remember that is? this shape. What's, I'll, I'll give you a hint. Top three things that Richard likes in this world that could fit in that box. <laughs> mm, my haters. Um, I don't know. I well, I have no idea what this is. Okay. I'm just gonna open it. Open it up. Man, there's more stuff here. Okay, weird. Weird. Can keep going here. Here we go. Oh, look at that! Wow. Maybe. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It's got uh, don't have any of these. gold details, gator skin. Here's the thing that you love. All right. I love it. There is one of those in the world ever made. Really? And you own it. So in, in Watch World, we call that a piece unique because it sounds f more fancy. So you the, should pay more for it. We should say it in French. Piece unique. Piece unique. And this is a French brand, so. Yeah. I bet the watch is made in Geneva, but still a French brand. I'm mm -hmm. going to try it on. So, so I don't own any Louis Vuitton watches. I was looking at one that was 475K. Yeah. I didn't, I was afraid. Because you, know, you were a one-of-a-kind customer, he was able to get a one-of-a-kind watch that nobody else can now buy or own. I am excited about that. Can everybody see it? What camera do we want to show this? Probably Maybe your... this one? Hey. Ooh, there, there we go. go. Let me get the minimum, nope. oh, minimum high, focus high. distance there. There we go. Okay, look at that. It looks pretty cool, man. Can, can we get, I gotta figure out how it works. Can we get an I love you? We can big, try this one. An, an I love you, Big K, then? Hey, Big K, I like you. You're very nice. Not, I don't love enough. you. I like you. Yet. Thanks for helping out at the event, and thanks for the sick watch, bro. One of a kind Rolex, and you'll get love. This, like. Louis. Louis. Well, Louis. I know. I said if it wasn't, oh, then you'd okay. get love. I get it. I but get it. Uh, one of a kind Louis. You know, it's funny. This is the same exact uh, little watch pad that they put in those boxes I got. Yeah. It's blue. This is neat. I've never never really touched one of these expensive ones before, man. Like well, there you go. Here. Look at this. Oh, look now at this, you man. You can see the thing rotating in the back. You want to go to that camera, maybe? We try it. This one over there? Oh, look the at that. The switcher. The switcher. Hold on. We got to get the light on it. All right, let's try this one again. This one works fine. <laughs> Go to that one. It like... It oh, yes. Yeah, so you get more light It whines. There. I got to hide my face from the... From the eye searcher. You can hear the rotor. <laughs> this is neat, man. I wonder what these complications are. Uh, well, I have a little write-up here. Okay. What, what Big K said is it's a one-of-a-kind spin-time watch made from Meteorite. LV only made one ever. It's unique movement, gator band skin, and 18-karat gold de details. Now, LV told Big K that they were considering making a second one for him if he requested, but he declined, saying that this was a gift for a one-of-a-kind customer, so there should only be one ever. The Meteorite sample came from the famous... Bigeon me meteorite crash in Namibia, which occurred millions of years ago. This is the first and only time... Louis Vuitton has used meteorite in a watch. This is sick, dude. Oh, I can't wait to flex on the... Uh, I just saw a smile, everybody. I, I saw wait. a legit smile. Mr. Hart is impressed. <laughs> you caught it here first. You saw that. That was real. That was hey, real. Piece unique, piece unique Louis Vuitton stuff. Like, the cameras in order to film your watches, so now we can film this one, too. This is a, this so you can is, dunk on everybody with your I watch, like all this so. you know, special it, watch video we're making you. Yeah? This is killer. All right. Okay, so... Thank bring, you. Thank bring, you, Big K. I'm not going to tell you why they call him Big K. All right. You know this. You know the story. I don't, but I can imagine one. I can imagine a good one. I, I don't know what it might be, Richard. He likes Kmart. He's always at Kmart. Uh, I, I used to eat, man. I used to eat at Kmart. They had this pumpkin pie that was so good. Pumpkin pie from Kmart was awesome. Pumpkin. With the like uh, whipped cream no on top. Way. 
Dude, it's pumpkin pie was great. Pumpkin pie. It was really? good, man. Yeah. I mean, maybe that's fl- your Florida palate. Where, where do you get your pumpkin pie? Tim Hortons? Didn't they ruin that for you? Didn't some big conglomerate buy Tim Hortons and destroy it? It, it was. It never had good, uh. good, good desserts or anything <laughs> like that. So, right. I do. I do want to bring up one more thing related to our counter, our counterpoints, our, our right. skeptics in the film. Yeah, you need them, or else you don't have a good story. You have to have conflict. Yes. So where's the conflict? It's us versus the government. Us versus the haters. Us versus the price chart. Maybe we kind of won that and one. Some of depending it is on us when you buy versus it. us at the current time. Yeah, that's true too. Which, which I want to be clear that one. We are, are a mirror, not a canvas. We are a mirror on what's happening. We're not a canvas painting it, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I think there's a lot of times people on Twitter will come out and say, well, you should do this or you shouldn't do this or, like, But how does not... anyone know what, like, I don't know what you're doing. I have no idea what the film looks like. I yeah. just see you drop occasional trailers. I don't know what's in or not in. Yeah. I know we've shot, like, multiple movies worth of content, and you're only going to make one, apparently. So, like, a lot of stuff's not going to make it. So I don't know how everyone has such certainty about what's in there. I don't, I don't know, know how I mean how people have such certainty about when Pulse is launching every week, but the po- stuff they put out if, there if telling I, me if I, like, <laughs> every day I it's them, happening this right. day. <laughs> I tell them my dev's best guess is like yeah. in two weeks, and then their best guess was wrong, mm-hmm. and then we do an audit mm-hmm. and we find stuff that needs fixed, and it's like, yeah, guys, guesses aren't right. Like I, I do want to ask you a question though, mm-hmm. as it relates to our counter voices, yeah, because yeah. I do think that we are all approaching this movie. Mm-hmm very professionally yeah right um one in terms of the integrity with which we approach every shoot sure. the level of gear the yeah. in- attention to detail and everything else and that we need to bring in counter voices everything except the soundtracks on this little uh, last yeah, couple I, clips. I, I, we'll come back to that we'll come back to that he has been banging on me for the soundtrack on these social videos however my point is there's a necessary role for these people yeah and we would i would like and I would like you to mm-hmm. also make sure that when the movie comes out, that we respect that those people were invited into this film yeah. and that we don't encourage any negative behavior towards the people who were asked to come in and ask hard questions. And I, I if, believe they all did it very respectfully. I don't think you got received anything that was no, um, unethical peop- or unfair or like like they played above the rules. The people that are in the film to, uh, to make me look bad are very nice. They're nice people. Yeah. So, and, and uh, you would not. And I would answer their calls if they yes. called, and if they wanted me to speak at their class, which I've been asked to do, I'd be happy to do yes. it. I, I hope that no one bears them any ill will because I think they're very nice people. Yes. And so I just wanted to make sure that we made that super clear. We're on the same page. No ill will. But Peter McCormick. Friendly to everybody. Peter McCormick, though. I'm. I'm, I'm not going to touch that. You one, can make sir. mean <laughs> comments towards him. Mean comments towards he him. He is a but... mean person. <laughs> he has earned mean comments in return. So. We are now getting at the point where you, you brought up music and how much you don't like our, our choice in music. Um, so one of them was killer. Like two or three of them were like not. But, but we do have, thanks yeah. to the community um, and, and you know the contributions and everything else, we do have a custom composer. We have a composer yeah. who will do who did the sizzle reel. So um, not that the sizzle reel great. was custom composed. It was very good. It was very good. Um, but that uh, composer, it was so good that we yeah. reached out to her, talked to her agent. She is custom composing, creating a score for the film, and we've lined up a 30-piece orchestra in Nashville. So they will then go and they will score the movie live with a 30-piece orchestra. All I know from 30-piece is like a bucket of chicken, bro. I don't even know 30 instruments. I guess there's like five of some instruments and four we, of some others. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I mean, but you know that a two-piece meal isn't as good as a 20-piece bucket of chicken. That's true. So uh, what I'm saying is we got you a good-ass bucket of chicken, <laughs> I love okay? It. Now you're speaking my language. Now I understand. Uh, but it's it's custom. Good. And the story leads. So they love watch, it. and, like, and she, she'll spend 45 days mm-hmm. watching your story, custom mm-hmm. arranging every single note, then bringing in 30 world-class people Makes sitting in a room nice. and making, right? Like yeah. it's... It is what is deserving of a story at this level. So the you're level saying, we want to play. So you're saying female Hans Zimmer. That's cool. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. If anybody's got a line to Hans, we would love to reach out to Hans and see if he wants to do the, the, the official trailer as well. <laughs> so um, we have. So that's where we're getting close to. We're, yeah. I hear you got a thing that's launching. You can't get better cameras. And, like, you can't. Like, if you have great. I think we have great stuff, man. I think we're really. I think this will be a success. I mean, it's really all you need is good cameras. And right? have you, you seen the competition? All the other crypto competition you, is you're, you're trash. Fine. All yeah. the other crypto movies suck. Have you have you watched Trust No One? I know you don't really watch. I TV. started watching and just it's, stopped. It's it was terrible. terrible. Yeah. I'm like, 
You, I, you I know watched 10 did, minutes and I stopped. You know what it did to the search volume on Quadrica CX? Probably 8x it, maybe. 10,000 X. Uh. Okay. So you got a movie that yeah. clearly calls it a scam yeah. that like exposes the scam, yeah. and you get in a ten thousand x search volume. But you could hide a lot in that ten thousand x times one is like you know what I mean. Like you need to know that what the notational first number sure. is. But sure, yeah, sure. Uh, you, no. uh, but uh, the Google hides that. So Queen's Gambit no. drove ten thousand x more like yeah. search volume on Chess.com. Right. Yeah. Sales of chess sets were at an all time right. high. Yeah. Right, like the power of story. Sure to create engagement in a subject matter. For sure. Right, which I hope is crypto in general. Inside yeah. of that is Hex. Fuck crypto in general. <laughs> what? People are getting wrecked out there, bro. Have you heard not heard crypto's wreck? <laughs> but to participate. Because yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of the people are afraid. Like, they should be. Look generally... at all these guys that just got wrecked. you got to buy the right thing. If you buy the wrong thing, you lose everything. Do you, you know buy the right things thing. that, that somebody could buy? I do. Gonna... But here, I just did an interview with a reporter yesterday, and she's like, thank you so much. I'm glad you called the top of the day a couple times, teaching me all this stuff, teaching me all this stuff. Thank you for showing me the proof, right? All the links to all the yep. calls and yep. stuff. But you can't promote anything that you've made. No! Why? Everything I make is good. Everything everyone else makes sucks. So I just basically had to shill Ethereum. I'm just like... Yeah. She's like, pick something to buy that's not yours. And I'm like, uh, Ethereum. Because there's, there's no other, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. other, like, I just, but, but I would love to talk about my things, which are better, but I was mm-hmm. barred from doing it. So I'll take some press over no press. Yeah. So timeline wise, mm-hmm. I know you don't know exactly when Pulse will launch, but mm-hmm. I will say that from a movie standpoint, mm-hmm. that is currently the end of our movie. Mm-hmm. So our timeline is after the thing launches. Mm-hmm. We we're already working ahead on posts. We got multiple teams. Mm-hmm. We got scenes. We got whatever else. If I can get you to, you know, pay attention and sit down for five I'll minutes, I actually got content I can show you here. Yeah. I don't. I don't know that I can get that much attention. But yeah, I show you attention. But, but I, 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 I can. I can show you stuff here. So we're already looking at scenes in the movie. Yeah. We're moving ahead. Once Pulse launches, we get the coverage of that. We follow that. Then we finish the editing. We go into composition. Yeah. And now the one other thing that we are considering yeah. is the idea of a celebrity on camera host. And, and so I will say, and this is going to cause, wait for the drama, <laughs> uh, thank you Rackham, because Rackham has yeah. been the one that actually was willing to put up the capital. He's okay. willing to write the check, because yeah. it's a million plus to yeah. get a celebrity to do this. So yeah. um, now we're not sure we're pursuing right. that. We don't know that we need that. But if we want to go to the top, we want to walk in the front door of Netflix, right? Yeah. right if we have an A-list. Is big, Netflix big wrecked now from a viewership perspective? I mean, does like Amazon or Disney pull harder now? No, no. Okay. I mean, not Amazon. Amazon's okay. a wasteland. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we can't edit that part out. I can if you want me. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to pitch them after you call them a wasteland, bro. Or maybe it's better. I don't but, know. But they are. I mean, <laughs> right. I would, I would. Right. Let's do you YouTube care about and self promote. Okay. Over right. Amazon. Wow. Oh. Wow. Because it, wow, because they're not about that. Right. They're about driving those subscriptions to yeah. sell everything else. Right. Right. I mean, we, we care about this shit way too much right. to, try, to try and go somewhere where they don't also value content and stories and we everything need, else. Right. In my perspective, from my perspective, I want to make people's lives better. They're only going to get better if they see it. Yeah. So I need whatever platform kind of participates with it to promote it on their end. Yeah. Which to is their the, users. That's the deal we want, right? right. Which is what, because people were saying, well, why don't you just go put it on here or put it on there? Yeah, I mean, we can put it wherever. You can get it on Netflix. What we need is a Netflix original. What right. we need is yeah. whoever we sell it yeah. to yeah. that we actually get the distribution deal, yes. the marketing, yeah. everything else. Yeah. So can I, make it, does, can I make a joke that we're only like four weeks away? Is that fair? Is that too close well, to home? Here, here's the thing. We're not so actually like, four weeks away. So, but that's a... <laughs> All of my devs are not of the same quality. You didn't smile about that one. All of my devs are not of the same quality. I have better and worse devs. Yeah. So they do stuff, and the stuff is very good, yeah. usually. But because what we're doing is ultra hard, sometimes my best dev will launching, look and go. So you're saying that launching your own blockchain and doing the world's largest airdrop isn't easy? Yeah, there's a reason that so many billions of dollars are lost to code yeah. bugs in other people's projects yeah. that aren't mine. There's a reason mine works really well. So, um, yeah, my best guy looked and found bugs, and the bugs need fixed. That's it. Mm-hmm. And he, he's still looking, and he's still finding bugs. And until, the, the, until bugs stop being found, yeah. you're just like, okay, their estimate was bad. And, and luckily, these, they're not actually like hard bugs. Like, they're actually pretty easy stuff. Like, but I still get to razz you about four more weeks. I think we're into the two <laughs> weeks now. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks TM, two weeks forever. I've seen like the Mars GIF of the girl's head exploding from two weeks. Oh, yeah. I've seen lonely, 
lonely Pablo Escobar <laughs> gifs. I've seen like the skeletons on the, the bench waiting. I've seen every, every, we had the same thing when Hex was going to launch the same <laughs> exact stuff, man. Well, I will, I, I mean, I have, uh, we've moved in the edit bay. Right. Right. Like I'm, but I'm, you, it's I'm so easy to... for you to pivot. Like you can just, I mean, oh, no, 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 I'm saying that, that I'm, I'm your end of the, the movie doesn't have to be Paul's chain launching. It would be wonderful. And, it, and it's sure. It's close and enough our movie time frame. doesn't have to be great. We could make it average too. So I mean that's 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 fair. We we could go. We, we don't really need to be that good. Yeah. We could just go with the Ferrari and the stuff we have and the whatever else, and let's just put it together and ship it yeah. for sure. But if we want to talk about just, getting on I the just, biggest stages, hold on. Yeah. Don't you like to win? Do we? You're win, do creating we win a with false a binary choice here. There are a, a multiple other gray areas of winning here. But like, no, but I you just, do want to be number one. I I want Pulse to launch. But it can't launch until it's safe. But you and want your film to also yeah. be number one. Yeah, I but would like your film to be yeah. number one. Yes. So yeah. if if yeah. we need something significant like that that will help it be number one, then we got to make it happen. But like, like usually, we got to wait, and we will home. delay, and we will whatever. Usually, All I'm saying usually the end of the film yeah. is the resolution of the conflict, and that is, and then you have a little bit of drift. See, after this is the, the end. lovely part okay. where he starts teaching me storytelling yes. and lighting. I love it. So, so like leading into the sequel is okay. It's okay, but it is not like when when Titanic ended, they didn't lead into Titanic two sequel. It was still a good film, and so like if Hex like at the end of Titanic, the the dude dies. The, I could see a better ending. Like I, like Jack could have found like a. Piece I mean, of hold wood. on, we are going to a track. So if you you go into the wall, then yes, we have a different There's ending only to one the movie. Wall. There's very few walls, by and design. we and we do have we do yeah. have a, a medevac ready yes. on standby. Legit, yeah. we brought in a medevac because we don't know that he'll be able to control his uh, speed. I've driven uh, F1 a couple times. I should be able to handle the cars with traction kay. control. Story standpoint, though, yeah. you've got this film. I want Pulse got... to launch, but I hate when I, it's just in my mind. It's not blocking. You can pivot to other cool yeah. stuff. But if you, for your artistic vision, need Pulse to launch, then we will wait until. It is launched, like you know. Well, and if you, in your artistic yeah. vision, want to be number two or three or four, then we won't wait. If, if, but it, if, if we it means that much win, to you, we can wait. It's fine. And, it's and, not up to me. So my story argument yeah. is that we need to make this current and real. Okay. Because if we if we do a retelling of Hex and no, everything but, happened, but and all the to, lives but, that were changed. But you're. But if yes, I know that Hex could still do another ten X or hundred X, or mm -hmm. there's still a lot that it could do. Yeah. But it's still older news versus this is happening now yeah right like this comes out and this is this has been live for three four months and it's still right. very early days it's exciting i want to jump on i want to read it i can participate right now that is exciting for somebody and if but i was how to are you this, how are but so i'm going to use your argument against you if what mm -hmm. you're saying is true and the actionability of a person's behavior after they've seen the film yes. is to get into something new by definition aren't you introducing a delay by which they cannot possibly get in ahead of time or on time because of the delay between filming the launch and then you getting post-production and distribution handled well, puts them three months or four months yeah. after the launch and then they can hope for a dip, I well, guess. I guess you're just going to have to have something else ready to launch. Oh, That'll God. That'll be the next project. Oh, God. That'll be the next project. But I have a wallet coming, here's, but like... Here, but in all seriousness... Yeah. Viewers, like, you know that some people love your approach, and you know that some people sure. don't love your approach, yeah. right? You're, you're very aware. Other approaches would work as you, well. You, you're they very would work differently. You're I'm very sure. aware. Though, no, in terms of how you dress, how you yeah. speak, you are who you are, you own it, and, and you know that some people love it and some people don't. Mm -hmm. People are going to watch this movie, yep. and some people are going to fall in love with you, and some yep. people aren't, right? Well, most but, probably will not, but that's fine. Yeah. But... The ending and the idea that now whatever you think of this, whether you love right. him, whether you hate him, whether yeah. you believe in this, whether you don't, yeah. now there's something ten times bigger that he's doing. Right. We just raise the stakes. Yeah. We just raise the ante. Yeah. Right. Because like, holy shit! Like now, I really got to check this out because sure. it's so much bigger. Yeah. Billion dollar sacrifice. Yeah. Like more. Sure. Yeah. Well, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it makes it so apparent and huge and imminent yeah. for a viewer that you're like, wow. It's not like I can just go, oh, well, maybe this thing wasn't. I can dismiss it. It just makes I, it more I think apparent. people will be more influenced by the flex items that they are programmed to show affinity towards. Like, I really like this Louis Vuitton watch, mostly because it's made by Louis Vuitton. I don't know about the mechanism. I don't know the company that actually made it. I know uh -huh. it's made in Switzerland. 
uh, you know, but I have to, to Google the movie, it. You think people are going to be? Well, I think in the movie, people will be more drawn to visual indicators of success, like exotic cars, like watches, than they will be to the cold and clinical number with a bunch of zeros at the end mm -hmm. that you have to explain to them. I think in the movie, people are going to be very drawn to your story of your mother having schizophrenia. To your mm -hmm. father working two jobs and what it was like for you to be in his attic and feel that heat and how hard that was and mm -hmm. how all of those past businesses shaped you mm -hmm. and, and led Into you to do what you do. I'm ball shaped now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I do think, and, and yeah. it's been an interesting challenge because yeah. it took us a while to get there. I think where you would, where I mean, you would always go, oh, this bullshit. No, people don't care about this. People don't care about this. But my friends, do we not care about Mr. Hart and he, his true origins, his true story, where he grew up, what his life was like, how he was formed? I, I need you to bang that chat. How poor is, language. I need you to <laughs> hit the chat box um, and let him know that we want those stories. We want the reality. We want to know what formed you. We want to know what's inside you because you can't change the world and make a story about somebody changing the world if we don't understand what really got you here and what this is really about. And you're a complex individual. I don't know if you know that, but you are a damn complex individual. You made me wait eight minutes to get how is baby formed joke out. That's fine. It's a meme. Yeah, I don't mean. That's yeah, the joke. You like, waited eight minutes for that. It was a long. Monologue. You can do better. So like Come on. it's it's. Yeah, I it was mean, an important monologue. I think I think one of the interesting comments someone made about me was that I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna find like a blind spot. Like I know exactly what I am. I know exactly yeah. where I'm likely to have problems. Right, and there's no. I know where I suck. I know who has more money than me. I know who has more impact than me. I know who is funnier than me. Hold I on, know hold who on, is... hold on. I just want to recap what you just said. Yeah. I know where I suck, yes. and then you went immediately to, I know who has more money. Yes. Than... So so you would suggest that part of you sucking is that somebody has more money than you? Yeah, of course. But that is so discordant with how much value you take in people and changing the world and the impact you're having on everybody here oh watching. no i'm killing in other places yeah like i'm i'm winning a lot of other places i design the world's best asset i own the world's mm -hmm. most expensive rolexes yeah uh, that have been made but you're, you're i mean your biggest weakness is probably that nothing is ever enough for my own personal uh happiness sure yeah yeah but well, that you... helps everyone else like my torture is their joy like i have to keep creating they get to keep benefiting I could just, but also you know. why you keep consuming and buying the, the the bigger the watches, the more the cars, because you don't want to just have a large collection. You want to say you have the world's biggest collection. You don't want just right. Like it, well, it's how do you? I'm hoping. Harder and I'm hoping that that gets me more audience with people. Mm -hmm. But if it doesn't, I will stop doing that crap because I will like. I'm not going to drive F1 cars anymore. They're too dangerous. I spun them too many oh, times. Yeah. I'm like, that's enough. You are going to yeah. stop buying luxury goods. No well, way. No way. I will just. I will bet you a Louis Vuitton bag. I got to make sure I can afford it first. But I will bet you a Louis right. Vuitton bag yeah. inside of five years. There is no way that that, that I, I I think it's become a part of you. Because no, but you've you been run out of stuff so to buy. Like the season. You, you've already won. Our, you you got four or five of everything here. Yeah. Like I bought the fastest Bentley. I bu I bought the you yeah. know like prettiest Ferrari. I bought like it just you run out of stuff. Like I'm. You're I'm, also getting diminishing returns. Are exactly. You not? Like, exactly. as you consume more and you have more things to flex with, yeah. you're not getting the same as you did earlier on yeah. when it was the first one, the first, yeah. or the second or the third. So I bought $135,000 Rolex today, and that took me from $8.8 uh, $8 to, like, $8.9 like, So, for, for all of you, the $1.3 <clears throat> million dollar Rolex, I brought from 8 to $9 million. Yeah. How interested are you in hearing that versus... His stories of how he became who he was, his failed businesses, what he learned, how that shifted him into crypto, like the real shit that makes him who he is versus the watches. I, I, w I would love to know in the chat box what y'all think, because my take and what my background in the science of storytelling says is that we don't actually give a shit about the watches. We care about the uh, man that's possibly, and what drives yeah. the man no. and, and where, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, look, man, I hope you're right, because if they like uh, people, I'm a person. So, yeah, <laughs> qualified. I'm qualified. And you're starting to open up to us more. You're starting to give us more of right. the stories of, you know, what this has really been like for yeah. you and, and, and what your life's been like and everything yeah. else, which is yeah. which is powerful. Like right. it, it's it's really powerful when you see it together. And and I do believe that so, it is so resonating the, char very the character strong. the character arc is like grows up poor, all black school, lives in warehouse. Sells speakers. Sells speakers. Sells sex toys, sells miracle cleaner. Yep. Gets into insurance. Yep. And then, you know, 
makes it, travels, finds crypto, starts doing self help vids, and then like does We're really well. In fast crypto. forward a little bit of that kind of stuff. Sure, yeah. The Panama that gets a little bit convoluted. It's so we're gonna get more it. into you yeah. recognizing the opportunity in crypto, yeah. you mining early days, yeah. getting really large, and then that taking off. Yeah. And then we're we're gonna spend a lot of time from the we want to spend as much time as we can from when we started. What do you mean we when we started? What do when you we met you. So moving forward, where you were at an all-time high oh, and you're getting ready for price. Right. Because yeah. that's all current content. Right. Do we really want to sit here and then like no. pan and scan and yeah. photos and back and everything else? Right. We will tell your backstory, but yeah. we'll move through that very yeah. quickly so we can get to today and who you are and what this is about and the community. We've got amazing community yeah. members that we've, we've featured in this film, you know, and in that lo much larger Did you ever picture. do an interview with David Feeder? No. He's great. He I gave me my know. best thank you video, like changed his life uh, now i should uh, say that there are a lot of hexagons who showed up in multiple locations on gray yeah. so we may have right. you know I, I can't remember all of their names unfortunately yeah. um so he may have come to one of those but okay yeah uh, he's got a huge hex tattoo right here red hair oh. red beard he was on scene with you guys at the freddie quotes video oh well then maybe he was there maybe he probably got him. him yeah he probably got him so you're gonna say nothing because nothing ever is hard for you and nothing's ever challenging. What? Um, but what <laughs> dieting, is, <laughs> dieting. Aside from sucks. aside from launching Pulse, uh. Uh, everything's easy. What has been the most challenging part of having a documentary made on you, having a crew, this kind of stuff? Uh, I think for me, hmm, that's a hard question. Yep. I don't like it really it hasn't I don't think it's been hard, you know? Like I'm used to being on camera yeah. and I and I haven't hot mic'd except once, which was bearable. And uh, you know, like I didn't knock over any of the lights. The con I didn't miss any points on the content except I just it's a hard question because none of it was was too bad. Just I guess it's hard to know it's because you have a wide open design space, you're not sure exactly what the, the optimum path is to yeah. get where you want to go. And so it's hard for me, and because I don't even have like really creative input there anyway, like how much time should you put to backstory? How much time should you put to new stuff? Like, so usually when I'm on camera, like when I was on camera earlier with yeah. the, the Playboy model, I wanted her to get more followers. I wanted her to make more money. I wanted her to like tell me what she wants out of life and I could tell yeah. her how to get it. And then in regards to the movie, it's it's just a lot more complicated for me to to understand what success looks like because I don't know what the purchasing agent at the at the you know Netflix cares to see because if I did I'd make sure it was in there you know like is he looking for this angle that angle is it that Paul saves the environment and Bitcoin's destroying it is that like the the character arc of like this guy is from a crappy place and then it turned out cool like I don't know well if you look at the the <clears throat> top film stories books everything else they are going to lead with character okay right one of the top right. shows you know something like this is us exceptional characters you look at uh, and then it's character and conflict the right. 80 yeah. 20 of story is character conflict yeah. now we have a good deal of conflict in the space right. and that is inside and outside effects right yeah. like yeah. you know there's claims that you've been gate kept there are claims, claims i've been gate kept claims this is obvious. This is the most obvious thing ever. I'm the impartial documentary. Luna, Luna, here. $40 billion project went to zero. It was on the front page of everything and listed everywhere. Yeah. Hacks, which has had flawless operation for years, Luna came into existence and failed while Hex was just killing it the whole time. Yeah. Where are we? Locked on page three. We have a lawsuit against those guys. Yes. Why are we on page three? Why are you lying about us? Everybody lies about us, man. Well, I'd answer that question, but <laughs> right. you're going to have to watch yeah. the film to yeah. see how we tackle this. But mm -hmm. but the, I'm, the, there's conflict. Yeah. There's conflict around gate camp. There are people that still think Hex is a scam, yeah. right? And so there's a lot of that that we can dive into. And then you as a character are the equal part. I had a guy today. He got a piece of mail. I didn't send the mail, but Hexagons like to send mail to people, right? Because you can't fucking gatekeep it. You, the mail guy still delivers the mail. All these digital cocksuckers, they hide everything. They're scammers, right? They yep. want you to get wrecked margin trading. They want you to get wrecked buying coins that go to zero. But the thing that could have saved you, they hide it because they can't make any money on it. So the uh, 
he gets this mailer, right? And his, his, uh, he's got a single word name on Twitter. Like, you know, Jack, who found yeah. Twitter, has Jack. This guy has Peter. Peter, yeah, right? yeah. He's like a VC guy. He's like, this is an obvious scam. Where does it get the 38% from? And I'm like, bro, if you don't like 38%, you'd hear yeah. to hear the fact that it's actually a million percent for some mm-hmm. people. That 38% is just in hex terms. And it's from inflation, just like every other yeah. coin. And he's like, if, it, if something keeps printing money forever, it's got to go down. And I'm like, oh, really? Like every proof of work coin? Dogecoin went up massive. Bitcoin went up massive. Ethereum went up massive. All these coins went up massive. And they went from no coins to many coins. So you're, you're obviously wrong. But he's immune to the reasoning. He just can't get it into his head. This is what I hate about people. They will say, they will lie. And then you will tell them the truth. And they will pretend it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. And you're like, hey, man. Hey, I just dunked on you. Can you at least acknowledge that you got dunked on or, or grow, or like learn? You like dunking on people. Of course, man. I'm built you for it. When I up. sleep and dream, I'm winning arguments really? in you, my can sleep. Can you get to the rim? I feel like that'd be a oh, big jump. No, I suck you at need, basketball. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I could stand on something, like a ladder. Okay, <clears throat> before we wrap up, yeah. what about the other side? So nothing's been challenging. What has been one of the more fun or enjoyable or interesting moments of filming this for you? I, I think that your guys production quality is excellent like you show up on time i get a call sheet i know where i'm supposed to be it all works you went i mean you guys produced that uh, that event like i didn't do anything nothing and it turned out great um the film works great they know the lighting's great yeah, background's I'm great to, like blow smoke here i'm looking for like is, is there a, an actual shoot or a production that was fun for you that you'd like you look back on this and you i go, think i think i really the, enjoyed i think i mean it may be recency bias but I think that in Marbella, the uh, or outside Marbella, it was it technically Marbella still? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, in Marbella, when we were doing those car racing behind the truck with the crane on the back, yeah, I thought that was rushing. fabulous. Uh-huh. I mean, when, when you could pull stills from the from the video and it looks like a perfectly framed picture, you're like, yeah, man, yeah. And I even got uh-huh. great, like, there's like this iconic... Uh, James Bond, like leaning back on the car in the mountains, like thing. And I wanted that. I was like, man, we, I would love to try and get that. And I got something close, you know? And yeah. I was like, man, I got, so I came away with that. Um, very happy. I think, I think that'll make some great scenes in the movie. Oh, and that was, that was definitely one of my highlights being yeah. in the Ferrari and you had your Danish friends in there yeah. and, you know, you just hit it. And, and the scene is Richard's driving behind Brent in the McLaren and then on go, he's got to hit it. And we're already doing, I don't know, 80, 100 miles an hour. He's got to hit it, fly around Brent. It's right? tight. Now it's we've not got a lot the, of space. We've got the road closed down. Yeah. This is all super safe, of, you know, unless Richard flies up the road. But um, he did get on super two tires safe. at one point, I think. Super and safe. And so he flies around, <laughs> yeah. right? But then we run out of road because yeah. where we're shut down. So he slams the brakes on. I don't think the ladies were quite ready. <laughs> And, but, oh, man, was it, like, the best amusement ride they'd have ever had. They were loving life, like, being in the yeah. car with the BTS and just, like, seeing all yeah. of that. It was just yeah. wild. You know, yeah. so those kinds of things where you're you're pushing limits, you're getting yeah. visuals that are top-notch, that, that compete with Mission Impossible. Like, if, like you, if you, you know? see them, like, trying to sell a car, this footage is as good or better than a lot of the manufacturer trying to sell the car footage. Is that good? Like, you, you couldn't make it better. Um, so I was, I was super excited you about You heard that. it here first. Mr. Yeah. Richard Hart loves yeah. our production value. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's really good. It's really, <laughs> really good. So, yeah. I hope I hope that you make a, a sequel. We'll see. But, the, but the, if you look at it, the community funded it. Depending on the setup, you guys might make money. Maybe backers make money. Maybe the people that buy it make money. Like yeah. maybe it's Netflix, whoever. And then the world can possibly be saved from the government stealing away the value of their money. Um, exchanges going out of business and stealing all their money. Yeah, uh, coins that have technical flaws and steal all their money. You're just like, there's so many people that we could save, and I think this is the the soundtrack plus the visual quality plus an interesting story. I think it has a potential to make a lot of impact. I mean, it's it's why we no. put so much into every single shot, no. every single scene, every single and part it, of this because we take it so yeah. darn seriously. And I will say, it's also why. We, um, why we're very careful about anybody who's in this film, right? Like, we definitely Did I run out of memory. Yeah, it's, hard to um, uh, it's okay, good thing we have three cameras. Yeah. Um, why we're so careful about every single person that's in this film, right? Right, like, it, it is a very, very intentional science back process. We've yep. interviewed hundreds of people to make sure that the few people that are in this story are the absolute best and they serve a role of supporting your larger arc. 
When we need yeah. to make a point about community, what community member? When we need yeah. to make a point about growth or scale, what community member, right? Like there's a ton of intention. I think yeah. so, sometimes people don't get, like there's a research team. Right. There's multiple reports. There's yeah. been months of just interviews and reading and learning to find I don't the think other elements. documentary crews are doing all that, bro. Because <laughs> a lot of us, like, at, like well, that's a lot of extra optional work that you sure, took on. I don't, on I don't that, think a lot of people yeah. are doing w- yeah. what you're doing in crypto. Yeah. Is that yeah. the game you want to write? I mean, yeah, it's better. And I, I think it's why we get along yeah. because you get... You're very good at what you do. Yeah. But we're also not taking this easy and we're making yeah. the most of it. For 100%. Right? Like, I don't, see, I don't see any way to really improve what we've done. I think it's fabulous. Like, I think... As far as Keeping crypto you stuff alive go, on the 20th, true. That's one way to improve it. Yeah. I think I think that the produ- the production quality, soundtrack, content, amazing. The fact that our competitors in the space are complete trash, oh, and yeah. then I think that we can even compete. I like, in my head, I'm like, are we beating Tiger King? It's like they don't have oh. teeth. So is that an upside, downside? Like, like I mean, we just got to get one of your arms off by a tiger, and we got to beat. <laughs> but what, what we do have, in all seriousness, I mean, we definitely have the character the Tiger King has. We have the drama yeah. the Tiger King has. Right. But more than that, we actually have something to say. We've got substance. Well, this matters to the world right now, and, that, and that's important. And you know what else right? I like about it? We have winners. Like, in yeah. Tiger King, everyone lost. That's not that great. Like, everyone got wrecked, right? Yeah. So in our thing... A lot of people made their lives fabulously, wonderfully better. Mm-hmm. And that's a nice story, too. It was one so, you don't see that much. We'll say Mikey's down. Yeah, the, but... The, the, the character who went all in, you know who made the most. down. You know who made the most on Hex? The people who sat through the most dips, yep. period. And we've dipped 80% five, six times in, like, two years. Oh, dips are in the game. I understand. Yeah. But at yeah. some point, when the movie ends... Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Like the guy yeah. bought in when he did and yeah. he, you know what I mean? And so that, that'll be interesting. And that was always yeah. part of our design of the story of like, we got to find somebody yeah. who's just going in and we can follow their journey. So Ask him whether he would have preferred to buy Coinbase on the IPO, which is currently down 90% and uh-huh. on, listed on the NASDAQ. He doesn't know what any of this is. He bought because yeah. his buddy RG3 told so him. So would, he, would he rather be down 90 or would he rather be down, uh, you know, 65 or something, right? Like. It's the, people don't realize the difference. If you're down ninety, you've got ten bucks left mm-hmm. out of a hundred. If you're down sixty five, you got forty five bucks left. So do you want or thirty five? Would you rather have ten left or thirty five? Yeah. It's three and a half times better. I'm and then the you. potential upside is no comparison. Uh, like, yeah. but if you got hex to a dollar and that meant that we could make Mikey a millionaire inside of the movie, that wouldn't be bad either. If you guys want to buy up the hex price to a dollar, go ahead. I allow it. It's like you know, it's I I, I don't know. If you if you told me that the price, it was designed to do ten thousand x in under two and a half years because it was designed to be better than Ethereum and that's what Ethereum did, mm-hmm. and it did it and it did it faster. Thank goodness, right? But these are estimates, these are guesses, these are design intentions. Yeah. And so, you know, what's the next target? Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin went from a penny to sixty nine thousand dollars, which I think is a six hundred ninety million percent return. Um, why not go there, right? We still have better game theory. We still have less negative externalities. Yeah. We still have a better logo. We still have a better brand name. I think we have a better website too. So like, yeah, why not beat Bitcoin now, you know? And why, and then why not take I over mean, you're global not commerce? Happy, you're number one. Yeah. So, no. well, thank you. I appreciate you taking the time, sitting down, allowing us to talk. I hope y'all have gotten some in- interesting updates, some inside scoop on everything. Hey, uh, can, you, can you pay to be in the movie? <laughs> no. Okay. No, you cannot. Right. The the financing of the film is completely <laughs> separately from the creative control. You don't have any creative control. No. Our investors don't have any creative control. No. Uh, and that is incredibly important because we have to retain the integrity of the story if we hope to actually get it sold and get it in front of people. Well, they'd probably make it suck as well. So it, you're you're course. known to make good products, but people that haven't done it before probably would make it worse. Absolutely. Yeah. So I did my best job lighting. You're better at it. So that's 